my studio. My name's Simon and I'm from Armadillo Art Experience and you're watching Draw Together. But actually we're on episode 4 now so welcome back if you've seen any of the other previous episodes. Today we're going to have a bit of a farm theme and we're going to learn to draw a pig and a tractor. Now we had a request for the pig so that's what we're going to start with and then we're going to move right along and have a go at the tractor. So what we're going to do, let's get the pen, we're going to start off with the pig and we're going to start with the pig's eyes and then we're going to draw the pig's nose in about the middle of the paper and then we're going to build the pig character outwards and go from there. So if you're ready, let's get started. So we're going to start with the eyes in the middle of the paper. Put a couple of eyeballs in there. Then let's draw his nose. So we're going to draw this sort of shape here. Stick a couple of nostrils on. And pop in his mouth. Now we can go up or down this one, but I'm going to go up. We can draw his forehead and his ears. Just pop those in, those pig's ear shapes. Draw his face round. Pop in a quick chin. And then we need to draw the top of his body because I'm going to draw him leaning over a wall. So I'm going to draw one of his hands in, or his paws rather, or feet really, his front legs anyway, leaning up against the wall. He's sort of standing up on the wall. And we can pop in the top of the wall then, the sort of the farm wall. The detail there. Maybe draw a little bit of texture on top of the wall. And then we're going to put his tail in. So I've started by drawing the bottom bit of the tail. And then I add the top curl and then the top little bit. Add a little bit of straw. And drawing this curved shape, which is going to be his sty. So we just add a bit, a sort of a door, so he can get in. And then um, I'll draw a wall at the back, and we're about there, really. A couple of eyebrows and some eyelashes, just to add a bit of um, personality and character. And there we go. So now we've drawn our pig. Let's add some colour. I'm going to use yellow, red, brown, blue, and white, and I'm going to mix some colours up to paint my pig. I'm going to use yellow and red and white to make a really nice skin colour for the pig. And I'm going to mix some blue and some brown, <laughs> all the way around actually, blue and some brown together with some white to make some nice greys and things. And of course I've got yellow for some straw bedding and that kind of thing. Um, right, let's get right on with it and uh, paint our pig, shall we? So to start with, I'm going to get a little bit of water, like that, and I'm going to get some red. I'm going to get some yellow, like that, to make a kind of a peachy colour like that and I'm going to put some white in it like this a bit of white in there a bit of red it makes quite a nice sort of peachy piggy colour like this as you can see there hopefully if I can put some more water into that I'm going to put a bit more water in as well it may be a bit more red so it's not too yellow like that there we go and I can use this then to paint my pig and I can always put a little bit of water on it if I want to as well. Like that. So I can add that on. My board's wobbling around a little bit I know but um, it's not too bad hopefully. So I can continue painting my pig. And hopefully that's looking uh, quite reasonable, like that. So hopefully that's quite a nice piggy colour. Not forgetting his or her tail there, like this. Now, what we can do, when we've got that, we can pop a bit more red into our colour mixture, like that. And we can use that to paint the pig's nose, like this. And if you leave little bits out, like that, it makes it look like we've got some light on there. And that's also a good bit, a good colour, just to add a little bit more colour to the pig's ears, like this. And uh, his body, like that, or her body, like that. Now, when we've got that far, what we can do, we can take some more red a bit more yellow like this we can pop some blue into it 
like that. So you may need a bit more bacon there. And what we make is quite a nice reddy brown, sort of almost rusty colour. And we can use that for the inside of the pig's mouth. Like this. And wherever we want to add a bit of shadow on the pig, like maybe under chin or under the ears like this we can use that colour like that so if I pop a little bit more water in with that we can pop it under there like that so anywhere really we want a bit of shadow so maybe around the sides of the pig's face and if we think it's a bit dark like I think mine is we can always mix a bit of water in with that paint and it doesn't actually matter what kind of paint you're using this will work whether it be Sort of like a watercolour or if you've got poster paints or something like that this will work this sort of technique will work and we can there we go do piggy's nostrils a little bit and maybe put a little bit of shadow under the pig's eye that's well got this forehead maybe a bit on the ears there like that and there we have hopefully a fairly nice looking pig now if you want to, you can add some spots to the pig, because some pigs have spots, don't they? So for that, I'm going to mix my blue and my brown together to make a sort of a, a black colour. I can add a bit of a nice spot on the pig there, maybe one there, like that. A Gloucestershire old spot or that kind of pig. Now we can give the pig any colour eyes we like. I'm going to give the pig blue eyes, but we don't have to do that. And then we can use some of that darker colour we mixed for the pig's feet, like this. And there we go. So that's the pig virtually coloured. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use some of that blue and brown mixture. And I'm going to paint the wall the pig's leaning on, like this. The pig's leaning again on a wall, peeping over the wall. I can use some of that again that sort of blue and brown mixture up there that sort of gray color I can paint a bit of a wall behind look there like that and then by using a bit more blue in that mixture I can make quite a nice gray for the pig sty like this if I'm not using as much water in my blue and brown and as I say you can be doing this with any paint we can paint the inside of the pig's sty like this. It's a bit brown, but it's okay. There we go. A bit more blue in there. We can paint the inside like this. That kind of corrugated iron sty there. And then if we like, we can use a little bit of blue. We have to be careful. We don't make our colours dirty by mixing any dark colour in at this point. We can paint it just sky into the background there like this sky like this and then you say my my easel is really wobbling but hopefully you get the idea of what we're trying to do we can use a bit of darker color there get that blue and that brown to make it look like brickwork a little bit pigs living there behind that wall this time with the shadow under his hands so it looks like he's really there and then what we can do we can use some of our yellow paint some straw behind the pig so he's got a nice comfy bed you can have a sleep like that so there we have our pig behind this sort of a farm wall with his sty and some straw peeping over at us and as I say I've used acrylics for this but you can use anything you like really any kind of paints you like or crayons or whatever to get a kind of similar effect right well I think we're all done with that one so I'm going to go and have a tea break and we'll move on next to the tractor so for this I'm going to start off in a really light pencil I'm going to draw a box and I do this because it helps me plan out where my tractor is going to be so I can see the you know the virtual sort of shape of it and the area it's going to fill now I'm going to draw a wheel. I'll draw the little wheel first. 
And now I'm going to draw the big wheel on the other side. There we go. Pop the centre bit on, see what sort of big tyre on the outside, and then that's the inside of the wheel. And now I'm going to draw some um, grips on the wheel. Like that, so it doesn't get stuck in the mud. So we've got the two wheels, and now I'm going to draw the bit on the front where the engine is, the sort of engine compartment bit, so we can uh, bring that down there like that. And now I'm going to draw the hole, or the compartment rather, where the engine is. We'll draw a little, pop a little engine in there, just a sort of little made up one. It sort of, sort of looks a little bit like that. And there's a little toolbox in there. And there we go. So now I'm going to add the tractor's exhaust pipe. Like that. And this bit in here is the gearbox actually. So we'll pop that in a little gear stick. So now I'm going to add a wheel arch like this. And in there in a minute we're going to pop a farmer. But for the minute I'm going to draw some ground so it's sat on something so it's not floating in the air. Maybe a field or some soil, I don't know yet. And then I'm going to rub out my box that I drew in the first place just to help me plan out my tractor. And that certainly for me made it a lot easier to draw and maybe it, maybe it will for you too. So now I'm going to draw my steering wheel in like that. So the tractor can steer. Now we're going to pop a light on the front and of course we're drawing this from the sides so there'd be another light on the other side if you could see it and now we're going to draw in a farmer so i'll start by drawing his eye and his nose like this give him a beard but you don't have to you can make him or actually her into any character you like really draw a leg in there and a boot where the farmer's resting their leg pop a cap on him but as i say you can make him or her into any character you want to so I'm now going to put a hand on the steering wheel and join that to his body with an arm. And then in a second I'm going to draw another arm on the steering wheel, but you could draw that leading to the gear stick if you wanted. I think that's about there really. So now we've drawn our tractor, let's add some colour shall we? I'm going to use paints, but you can use anything you've got to hand. Crayons, felt pens, colouring pencils, anything you like really. In fact I might add a bit of colouring pencil to mine later on as well. Anyway, let's get right on with it. I'm only going to use yellow, blue, brown and red. And uh, yeah, let's make a start, shall we? So I'm going to start by painting my tractor red, but you can paint it any colour you like, of course. There we go, paint that bit red in there as well. And the wheels. Now I'm going to put some brown on for the earth, but again, that could be a lovely green field if you wanted. And now we'll mix some blue and brown together to make a kind of a black colour and paint the tyres. And as you can see, it's a bit more brown than blue that I've mixed it so it's uh, looks a bit muddy and so on a bit dirty and I'm going to paint my exhaust pipe and the steering wheel like that too and then if we pop some red into that mix we can use that as a shadow colour so red, blue and brown just put a shadow in the engine compartment and under the uh, wheel arch start painting in the farmer and I'm going to mix some yellow and some red together and put some water in to make a nice sort of ruddy skin tone for him Bit of brown on his beard and I'll get my colouring pencils out and make a check shirt and there we go. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, our arty trip to the farmyard today and we'd maybe like to have a go at either drawing the pig or the tractor we've just done. If you do produce a drawing you're proud of why not post it on our Facebook page because we love seeing them and it really does make in producing this worthwhile. Also if you have any suggestions of things you might like to cover in future episodes anything you'd like to draw anything at all there, why not get in touch as well and we'll see if we can fit that in. Well really we're coming to the end now, so uh, I'll just say goodbye, thanks for watching and join us again next time on more Draw Together with Armadillo Art Experience. Thank you, goodbye.